Good morning. It was a wild day yesterday. Great night last night with giveaways and uh, we had a super campfire last night. Everybody was tired but had a great time and we all stayed up late because we didn't want it to end. Everybody's pulling out pretty early this morning. T and I are gonna just kind of sit spend the day and relax. Have a good meal because we really didn't get to eat much yesterday. It was it was so busy. Uh, we didn't plan that out very well. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do today. It's been a great weekend. Can't wait for next year's. Welcome to Flight Skyways to Highways. We're Tasha and Gary. We're a New York-based flight crew. Please make yourselves comfortable, sit back, relax, and enjoy travel. The sauce is really good. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed your flight with us today. Please feel free to like, subscribe to our channel. Whether you're in the skyways or in the highways, we always would like to take you with us. I'm Lydia. I uh, live in Kentucky, and this is my first hiker trailer camp out. Had this trailer for two months. You gotta check out this. You got the wallpaper on the ceiling. That is really cool. What you do is to put fairy lights up there. Fairy lights? Well, that's so pretty that much will... the first thing we did, was to put some fairy lights around. Yeah, it's not so hard. Excellent. Yep. And uh, she's got this organizer kit from... It's from Kelty. Kelty. Yeah. And the two work together. So in here we've got organizers for, I have things like my knives, right. spatulas. I, I think I have uh, garbage bags up in here. This all just rolls up like a chef's roll. Right. And then just and drops stores right in, in here. Oh, that's just a nice organizer. And this one also has hanging, um, I took it down last night so it wouldn't get wet. It also but has it, hanging straps Hanging also. straps and you can hang it here. I've put a little piece of wood up here that just stops stops it right. from coming off and oh that's perfect that yeah. way it's right here when you need it or you can i've done it on the back too yeah in front of the galley oh that's great i have one question for you yep since you're a new hiker owner uh -huh. and you just purchased yours if you had one piece of advice to somebody that's looking to buy a hiker mm -hmm. trailer what would be your advice well, really think about how you're going to use your hiker and who's going to be using it and base your customization on that not really what everybody else has or what other people tell you they they think you need it's so personal for us the two doors is really important because right. my daughter wants to have her own entrance and exit and then if i'm getting up in the middle of the night or doing something i want my own exit and we love the screen doors okay. a lot of people have issues with the screen doors but they're just easy you know right. having this really prevent so many bugs getting in because you don't have to open right. the door all the way but it's nice to have airflow and keep everything nice and cozy and cool in the summer and have access when you need it oh, cool yeah all right thank you thank you thanks for talking with me oh there goes another one safe right. travel good morning good morning it's a beautiful day yep we're up for, we're up for a walk <laughs> And uh, you can go check out a few trailers and people packing up. We can say goodbye to some old friends. And some new ones. And some new friends yeah. that we've met. So, yeah. It has been an amazing camp out this yeah. year. Matt and Wendy outdid themselves. It's incredible. So much fun. Yep. Lots of laughter. So, yeah, let's go see some people. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, let's go. And I'm excited about the cookbook. Yeah, thank you. I, I am too. I'm just I'm just trying to find the time to, to yeah, get it done. A, yeah, I was gonna say there's a lot on our plate now. <laughs> I'm Jeff Smith. I'm Francie Smith. I'm Caitlin Slow. That's our that's our daughter Caitlin. <laughs> and where, where are you guys from? from? We're from Princeton, Indiana. You're fairly new owners, so we go mm -hmm. about a year. If you had to give advice to someone that's looking to purchase a hike trail, what one piece of advice would you give them? Well, I have one thing because we didn't get the XL, and I'm a tall person. I'm five ten. And when we walk around and you see my uh, awning, it's a little too close. So uh, something, you know, think about that, your height of the people that are, it, are it taking It was tall part. enough on a flat floor we had plenty. Right? Yeah. But we're finding out we've, we've, last few trips, we've gone on some very uneven oh, right. uh, areas. Mm -hmm. And so we're hitting our head where normally we could walk under. It, it makes so. you makes you aggravated after a while. Right. <laughs> I can imagine. So. With a, with a hickey on your head. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that that's our advice. Just mm -hmm. make sure you get the right size for right. you. All right, excellent. That's good advice. Good advice. Good advice. Like get it and then add two inches. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's check out your trailer. All right. Well, this is Caitlin's space up here. Go walk up. 
Caitlin goes with us mm -hmm. every, everywhere. She camps with us. And uh, so we knew that, you know, we had something that the, the Jeep could tow. Right. And something where we wouldn't be right on top of each other. So mm -hmm. she's got right. the little penthouse suite up here with top tent. Okay, excellent. And then we also have a nice changing area because we, we right. added the annex. So it's the oh, 230 right. walkabout. Oh, this oh, is nice. 62. And um, even if you don't put the annex on, this part here, which you can see, is an overhang so you're not out in the weather, mm -hmm. even if you choose not right. to put the, right. put the okay. annex That's on. fantastic. Yeah. That's cozy. First time we cook it out, it starts storming. She was very nervous about Caitlin being up, so she said, go tell Caitlin to come down and sleep, and you sleep in the tent. She oh yeah, I know. Weather, didn't you? I know how that works. I had to wake I know her how that up. Works. <laughs> she was asleep. I had to wake her up. There's a storm. Your mom wants you downstairs, and so I slept up the top in the storm, and it was a very. It's one of the sturdiest tents I've ever slept okay. in. Wow. It didn't Excellent. rock and rattle. It just yeah. it mm -hmm. felt. In fact, it, it was really nice because of the rain pattern on it. Yeah. yeah. But the wind didn't bother it. It was I really liked yeah. the tent. That is something with the rooftop tent. We did add the stabilizer. You know, we put the stabilizers on just mm, an right. extra okay. set. Yep. All right. Because yeah. anytime you've got movement up there, you're going to fill it. It's going to transfer yeah, down transfer a little. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that's and a good and idea. Caitlin has complained about <laughs> us too. So yeah, it does kind of transfer just a little. That's a good idea. But other than that, it's it's worked really great for our family. Fantastic. So, yeah. right. And right. another thing we did was we did put. We put carpet on the wall, ah. which I'm not sure you're going to be able to see. So carpet on the wall, this is very unique. Yes. Yeah. And yeah, it's just yeah. easy to stick on. Uh -huh. And we did that so when you rolled over, you right. weren't feeling that cold on your arm. Oh, right. Yeah, and that really helped. Also, really utilize that shelf there. That's right. That's now, do you ever bump your head on the shelf? Um, I have one time. Okay. What, one, one time, time and you was never it. do it again. <laughs> I've not ever done it again. That's awesome. Yeah. I, so. I love it. I What a great idea. Yeah. The oh, so good. you've got your shoe bag up here. Yeah. Yep. Oh, no, and they're so, idea. so very handy. You don't have oh to put gosh. your shoes on the floor anymore. Yeah, they're ever fantastic. again. And you know, all that, all that yeah, wet, all that really rain, they're not wet. Yeah. And, uh, we we love ours. No, yeah. Absolutely love ours. We appreciate the walk around and you guys have safe travels home. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks for stopping in. Thank you for showing us your trailer. It's beautiful. Oh, thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. I'm uh, Chris Daniels. This is my wife, Els. And where are you guys from? Springfield, Ohio. Okay, cool. What would be the one piece of advice you'd give to someone that's looking to buy a hike? Oh, uh, yeah, go a little bit longer if you're tall. So go five by ten if you're taller. Yeah, yeah for sure. That That's a big one, I yeah, think. I think, I think a lot so. of people... We wish we would have yep. been bigger on yeah. the battery, too, I would just yeah, oh, yeah. didn't have that option. Play, I replaced the battery this year. Yeah. Well, thank you. Well, Take care, guys. <laughs>
It was big and busy. Yeah, it was. We had a great time. <laughs> we're exhausted. Yeah, we're a little pooped. <laughs> yeah, but we had such a great time uh, yeah. just trying to get around to, to meet everybody and you know see their hikers and things mm -hmm. like that. We made an effort to try to get around to as many trailers and people as, as we could. There were so many. And <laughs> we just didn't have time to make it over to see everybody, which we would love to have done. If we missed you, we apologize. <laughs> we, we do. We would have loved to meet you. Yeah. Owners that uh, haven't received their hiker trailer yet or prospective buyers that were here, every one of them said that the meeting the hiker trailer community realized that they made the right decision or they're going to make the right decision of owning a hiker. And I, I agree with that, don't you? I do. I do. I, I think that hiker trailer really wins on all points as far as customer service goes, as far as just making you feel loved and a part right. of the family, you know, they're all encompassing and people from yeah. all over the nation come here for this every year and, and everyone gets along so well. It's like, it's like we've been friends for years. And it is. And you've just met him five minutes ago and you <laughs> feel like you're, you've known him all your life. That makes this event even more special. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. We hope you gleaned some information, maybe found some new tricks right. or some new ideas for your build. This whole uh, community of tiny trailers is growing and we are so glad to be a part of it. Good afternoon, we're still in Dale Hollow and we decided to take the day, just kind of hang out and get some stuff done. We did some laundry, I'm cleaning the Jeep out, T's cleaning the galley up and getting ready for a travel day. We still got another 10 days on the road. We're getting ready for that and just kind of relaxing. Played some cards this afternoon. Yeah, and I got killed. Uh, we got our laundry hanging and uh, I'm just about ready to start uh, folding, I mean, rolling all the laundry. <laughs> <laughs> so, funny. yeah, I know, I am funny. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's gonna be, a, that's kind of our afternoon and that's what we do on the road. You pick a day or an afternoon and uh, get things reorganized every once in a while and get things cleaned up. This that. is not my favorite day, cleaning day. No, it's not. But it has to be done. <laughs> we continue cleaning and then we're going to start doing a little bit of a pack up. Um, I think we're going to pack up half, about half of it tonight and finish it in the morning. We'll probably have the awning packed up and the, and the sidewall packed up so it doesn't get wet tonight with the dew. All right, let's get going. Kind of the last people standing here at uh, Dale Hollow. A lot of people stopped by and said, where do you put all that stuff you have? And so we're going to start by showing you how we pack up to leave. So um, we're packing part of it up tonight and the rest of it up, uh, up in the morning. We had questions about our sidewalls and we did an earlier video about how we folded the sidewalls and they said that was very helpful. I'm going to do it by myself this time. T is actually the one that showed me how to do it properly. See, once it's laid out flat, you just, you've got the one sidewall and you just pull it across and even it up. Now, if you'll notice, it's still not square, so you're going to want to square it off. And you've got seams right here, so just use those seams to make sure it's good and straight. Pull it back across here like this. And now you pretty much have a, per a perfect square. Am I doing this right? Good. Okay, thank you. <laughs> now, fold this across. Like I said, I use a seam to make sure it's nice and straight. And now we've got a perfect square. Fold it across again. And I'll probably do it one more time. There you go. Fold it up nice and neat. And then you've got your pack. We'll just slide it right into the bag. Right back into the bag, so we're ready to go. So you can actually do it by yourself. You need a little bit of space to do it. Uh, of course, always, if there's two people, it goes quicker and easier. So that's how we pulled up the uh, sidewalls. Good morning. We woke up to a really wicked foggy morning. Crazy so foggy. We're taking a, taking a little bit of time to get going and letting the sun come out and warm us up a little bit. And then we will get destinations unknown. So we just decided to sit here with some tea, a little coffee, coffee <laughs> and wait for the the, uh, the fog to burn off. But uh, we, we get this one particular question on a regular basis, like a lot. 
And we thought we'd just take this morning and address that question. Correct. And, and that question is... The question <laughs> is, how do we pack all that stuff away? <laughs> how do you pack all of that stuff in that little trailer? We do have a lot of stuff, admittedly. We, we do have a lot. Although, I don't feel that we have more than we use. Right. You know, when we're you know, on the road... We're we're out there for at least two weeks. We try to do a month at a time, so yeah. we need we need to pack a few extra <laughs> things more so than the weekend warriors or the people that only have the uh, the time to get a two or three days of camping in yeah. or something like that. Admittedly, so. we do have a lot of stuff, yeah. but it all has its place. It all goes in uh, its own little spot, and uh, and it works for us. So, just for those of you who are curious, we are going to show you how we pack and organize our trailer and set up to hit the road. Correct. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. Yeah. I'm yeah. going to sit here and drink coffee and we'll let her pack <laughs> and show you how to organize. <laughs> that's not happening. That's, yeah, that's that's a tough job I have to do. Delegate? What is it? And delegating is really difficult. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get started so we can get out of here. Okay? It's time to let's go. Let's go. Yep. <laughs> so I've already cleaned out my stove really simple. Solo slides right in here. She's an expert packer, so I let her do it. Uh, I'm yeah. an, oh, now I'm an expert packer. Well, not a suitcase, but the, the galley kitchen, she does pretty well. Yeah, whatever. But the Solo is a smaller one. It's the Ranger. And next go our bins. We have two bins. This one is a food bin. This bin pots and pans bin. This table is really easy to fold away, but it can be a little cumbersome. It's kind of bulky, but this rides in the back of our sheet. That's basically how I close this up. It's uh, it's pretty organized. As you see, everything has its own space. It pretty much stays this way while we're driving, so no issues. Awesome. Get those nice and flat. Right here. Oh, shoot, I wasn't thinking. Ah. <laughs> all right, there's a little water collected in there. Just a little bit. Yeah. That's all right, let's let and it And our once dry awning <laughs> is <laughs> now wet again. Let's let it drip out a little bit. There we go, nice and tight. Good job. Good job. And this is where everything goes in our Jeep. We've got, I think we got it dialed in pretty well. We carry two Jackeries with us. We carry a 240 and a 1000 watt. The 1000 watt runs a fridge when we're off grid and don't have power. They ride in the Jeep also. I'll show you where they go. Jackeries go right here. We've got a small box right here that is basically our everything box. So you're like, uh, plug yeah, it's a junk box. <laughs> it's a junk box. Plugins, <laughs> mosquito stuff, tape, you know, things that we might might need on road glue, you know, everything like that. And it just it just rides on top of that. The baby jack. We usually turn the basically tea snack box. I need snacks. She's got I a I ton of snacks, and the baby jack rides right between right here. A lot of times we'll use that to charge our extra phone because we only have one cord up there. We'll be charging camera batteries off of it and things like that, but that's where that rides. Right underneath the backpack here is uh, where we keep our hiking boots, right just on the floor there. It's basically organized chaos. The computer bag usually will just ride right here. It'll be handy. We have uh, our, our fold-up tables 
and we just slide those in this right in here also in the back of the jeep we carry our extra jackery 100 watt panels we carry two of them um, always an extra sleeping bag and that basically stays in the jeep all the time no matter where we go carry first aid kits and uh, of course fire extinguishers which we used before we had a brake problem on the jeep and uh yeah, it was, it was kind of an interesting problem. Yeah, but it wasn't too bad. Luckily, we were like two blocks from home when it happened. The Jeep recovery kits, we got straps, cables, everything in there just, just for recoveries. We actually keep a couple extra coolers. We have a drink cooler if we need it and uh, sits right in here, right on the wheel well between the, uh, the table. And our wood for our solo stove, T came up with a brilliant idea. The Ikea bags are brilliant. awesome. Brilliant. I love it when he calls me yeah. brilliant. We just kind of keep putting them in our little bag here so we have solo stove wood. And that kind of keeps our truck a little bit cleaner. Well, yeah, well you wouldn't we, notice right now. You wouldn't now. notice that right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit messy. Yeah, it's a bit it's messy, up, yeah. but that's okay. Yeah, we also carry a small Yeti cooler to uh, keep uh, T's vegetables fresh. Uh, for yeah, We do a pretty good job of making them fresh for at least a week in here. And we keep swapping out uh, freezer packs every day. You know, the broccoli and the yeah. kale, that all takes up a lot of space in the yeah, fridge. Right. And that just kind of slides right here. And then the next thing, pretty happy with our purchase for the, for the Lifesaver 5-gallon. Filters water out of rivers and streams and everything like that. So we always have filtered wa drinking water. And we don't have to buy the big jugs. And that was kind of a hassle of find a place for all these big jugs in the uh, in the Jeep when we're traveling for, you know, extended periods of time. So we just refill this and we're fine. It just slides right here so that we can uh, refill our water bottles. I put a little rubber spout on it so we don't have to pull it completely out to fill our water bottles. And uh, yeah, that just rides right here and we can fill our water bottles on the road. Have, for lack of a better place to put this table, because it, it doesn't fit properly in the galley, or at least not in the space that I want it to. So we just take this table and, uh, and we put it inside for the ride. Our chairs, these also go inside as well. That's how we pack our Jeep and how the trailer gets packed up. So I hope that was informative. Hey guys, Hi. how's it going? It's a, yeah. really good. Yeah, yeah it is I think good. Cindy will like it. Yeah, we had these hamburgers that are seasoned that we don't like. Yeah. And so Paula put the... Uh, I didn't know I had those. She thought she I was probably ready to grand beef. Right, they yeah. were already padded but they out. they were yeah. nasty seasoning. That's how it's And so we put your road oh, dust yeah. on yeah. and it was I'm really good. Yeah. <laughs> so okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You're very that. welcome. I'm yeah. so glad you're enjoying it. Yes. I'm really glad you like it. Save my hamburgers. Yeah. Yeah. Guys. Safe travels. Yeah. Well, guys, that's a wrap from the fifth annual Hiker Trailer East camp out. We had an amazing time here. We came, we saw, we chatted with everybody. There were so many amazing people here. We had such an incredible time. We really enjoyed our stay here. Matt and Wendy DeWitt, incredible, incredible host. Thank you so much for your generosity and just, you are just simply two amazing human beings. So uh, yeah, that's it for us. We're heading out and I think we are on our way to Louisville. We're gonna check out the Bourbon Trail, which uh, should be a lot of fun. So we're looking forward to that. And, uh, and then probably Nashville and then, uh, yeah, who knows what the day will bring. But either way, whether we're in the skyways or the highways, just know that we're gonna take you with us. And we hope you are enjoying this journey with us. And if you are, do us a favor, click that like button please subscribe to our channel so that we can bring you more content like this. We really enjoy what we're doing and we hope you are as well. And safe travels all. We'll see you next time, friends. Thanks for watching. My ride is here.